hi everyone so welcome to this video tutorial on factoring so in this video we will learn how to factor polynomials so factoring by definition it is a process of finding factors of an expression and it is the reverse process of multiplication so in this video we're going to learn factoring by greatest common monomial factor the very basic one uh, we have our first example example number one so we have 2x plus 8 so we're going to find factors of 2 8 plus 8 uh, 2x plus 8 so the very basic on factoring is to look for a common monomial factor. So specifically, that is that is uh, that is the greatest common monomial factor. So para di tayong maglibog, ato lang siya siya tayo tagsaon. So mani siyang first term, mani siyang second term. Mangita lang tao common sa first term and second term. So so, good sa, nam, sa numerical coefficients, kating 2 and 8, what's the common of 2 and 8? So, we have 2 and we have 8. So, common sa 2 and 8, remember, 8 is equal to 2 times 4. Or we have 2 times 2 times 2. That is 8. So, naasilay, common niya 2. So, the common is 2. And then, for the variable, so since wala may variable ang second term, so, wala sila yung common variable. So, kung wala ni common, putang taog, close parenthesis. And then, ato yung siya isuwat sa sulod sa parenthesis kung unsa ang nahabilin sa kada term. So, in the first term, we have 2x. So, unsa man ang nahabilin sa first term since ato naman gigawas ang 2. So, gigawas na ang 2, ang nahabilin sa first term is x na lang. So, we have x. And then, plus so, ang 8, kung saan ang mahabilin sa 8, kung ato nagigawas ang ang 2, so remember, 8 is 2 times 4. So, ang, kung nagigawas ang 2, ang mahabilin is 4 na lang. So, we have 4. Okay. So, this is now our factor form. That is 2 times, we have 2 times the quantity x plus 4. So, I want to check if ang ato answer sakto na. So, remember, factoring is just a reverse process of multiplication. So, para masabta na ito, kung sakto ang atong, atong mga factors, ato siya i-multiply. Remember, kung ato i-multiply talang niya factors, dapat mo equal siya sa given. So, ang atong given is 2x plus 8. So, dapat ang product ni 2 and the quantity x plus 4, mo equal siya sa 2x plus 8. So, how to multiply? So, una, ang, ang 2, ato siya multiply sa x. So, we have 2 times x, and then we have 2 times 4. So, dapat ato siya multiply every term. Multiply 2 in each term. So, we call this one as distributive property. So, you have 2 times x, that is 2x. And you have 2 times 4, that is 8. So, this is plus 8. So, as you see, so 2x plus 8 is equal, the product of these factors is equal to the given. So, therefore, our our factor form is correct. So, ang atong nakuha ng mga factors is the correct answer. Okay, so this is now our, so this is now our factor form. We have 2x plus 4. Okay, next example. Second example, we have 9y minus 3. We have 9y minus 3. This minus. So, what's the common between 9 and 3? You remember that 9 is. 3 times 3. So, na sila common niya, 3. So, since wala may variable ang next niya, 
ang second term so wala yung common nga variable so let's proceed to parenthesis so we have 3 ato na igawas ang 3 and then you have 9y on the first term so ang ato na igawas ang 3 sa 9y remember 9y that is 3 times 3 times y that is 9y by definition so at ano nang gigawas ang 3 ang mahabilin is 3y na lang minus okay for second term we have 3 and then at ano gigawas ang 3 ang mahabilin is wala na so kung wala na remember na siya imaginary 1 nga naman Okay, kung 0 itong ibutang mo niya at pag multiply na ito, mahimu siya nga 3 times 0, that is 0. So, which is still isang mabalik sa yung original niya expression. So, always na siya na ay imaginary 1 pag i-mo gigawas tanan. Uh, ano nga term? Okay, so let's check by applying the multiplication operation. So, we have we have 3 times we have 3 times 3y that is 9y minus 3 times 1 that is 3 so we have the product 9y minus 3 and this is equal to the given expression okay so our factor form is 3 that is 3 times the quantity 3y minus 1 Okay, next example, we have 3x plus 3y. Number 3, we have 3x plus 3y. So, we're going to find, so as you observe, pareha na sila na ay variable, ang first term, second term. So, let's start first with the uh, numerical coefficient. So, what's the common between the numerical coefficients 3 and 3. So, obviously, ang ilang common is 3. Pareho sila nga 3. And then, for the variable, we have x and y. What's the common of x and y? Wala. So, wala yung common sa x and y. So, let's proceed to parenthesis. So, kung saan ang mahabilin sa 3x, kung ito nagigawas ang 3. So, igawas na lang 3, ang mahabilin is x na lang. Plus, ang mahabilin sa 3y, kaya igawas na ang 3, ang mahabilin kay y na lang. So, our factor form is 3 times the quantity x plus y. Okay. So, to check, we now to say check. So, 3 times x, that is 3x. And 3 times y, that is 3y. So, the answer, the product is 3x plus 3y. And that is equal to the given expression. Okay, next example, we have example number 4. Example number 4, we have x raised to 5 plus x raised to 7. So, so you observe, ang duha nga terms, wala siya ay numerical coefficients. So, wala numerical coefficients, Okay, ra. Okay. Proceed na lang ka sa variables dito. So, so, we have the first term is x raised to 5 and the second term is x raised to 7. So, you're going to look for the greatest common monomial factor. So, kung saan ang common sa x raised to 5 o x raised to 7? Remember that x raised to 5 by definition, that is x times x times x times x times x. Ang x raised to 7, that is x times x times x times x times x times x times x. So, pito nga x, imunggi, multiply. So, kung saan ang common sa x raised to 5, kanis siya, lima nga x, and then sa x raised to 7 niya, pito ka x. So, ang common nila, na asilay, tag lima nga x. So, the common is x raised to 5. Okay, that's the common x raised to 5. So, muna yung common nila. Okay, next. Wala naman lang yung common. Ito siya eh, parenthesis. 
for the first term x raised to 5, since ato na may gawas ang x raised to 5, sa may gawas na nan, ang mahabilin is wala na. Kung wala na, na siya imaginary nga, na siya may imaginary 1. Always. Always siya na imaginary 1 basta gawas na nan. Then we have plus, unsa man ang, unsa man ang mahabilin sa x raised to 7 kung ang 5 ka x imo nang gigawas. So unsa may mahabilin kung ang kaning 5 ka x is ato nang gigawas. Ang mahabilin is kaning duha na lang. So kaning duha ka x, you have x times x that is x squared. Then close parenthesis. Our factor form is x raised to 5 times 1 plus x squared. So, kung imo i-check, gusto na uh, ganahan ka nga mag-check sa imong uh, ganahan ka mag-check sa imong answer, imo na gamiton ang multiplication operation to check if it is the correct answer. Okay, next. We have example number 5 or it could be the last example in this video. So, we have 12x cubed we have 12 x cubed minus 16 x raised to 6. We have 16 x raised to 6. So we're going to look for a common monomial factor. So para ita maglisod, again, ato siya i tagatagsaon. So mag start ta sa mga numerical coefficients and look for a common monomial factor. So, greatest, dapat pinakadako nila nga common. Isa common sa 12 o 12 o 16. Common nila is 2. Pwede ang 2. Pwede po ang 4. Pwede ang 4. Because 12 is divisible by 4. Ang 16 divisible po siya by 4. Ang 5, pwede. 5, 6, 7, di pwede. So, ang ilang GCF is 4. So, ang GCF sa 12 o 16 is 4. That's the common that's the common monomial factor of 12 and 16. So, we have 4. Okay, for the variable, we have so, as we observe in example number 4, ang common uh, ang common sa mga ang common sa mga variable with an exponent, ang common, kung kinsa pinakagamay exponent mo na common. So, dere, as na may mas gamay, si 3 o si 6. So, si 3. So, the common for x cubed and x raised to 6 is x cubed. Okay, parehas sila na itag tulog ka x. So, wala na may common. So, we have parenthesis. And then, ato ibuta kung ang saan nahabilin sa kada term. So, ato naman gigawas ang 4. Masa man nahabilin sa 12. So, pwede na para mas ngayon. Ito siya i-divide by 4. So, 12 divided by 4, that is 3. Because 3 times 4 is 12. Okay. So, next, for the variable, we have x cubed. So, x cubed, ito may gawa. So, na siya imaginary 1. So, imaginary 1. So, we have 3 times imaginary 1. That is 3. So, 3 na lang. Ha? Yan na mabutang ug 1. Okay, may muna nga 31. Minus... We have 16 divided by 4. Kaya naman may gawas ang 4. 16 divided by 4, that is 4. And then, we have x raised to 6. At ano may gawas ang x raised to 3. So, si 6, mamanoon siya siya og 3. So, that will become x raised to 3 na lang. Okay, so this now our factored form. We have 4x cubed times the quantity 3 minus 4x cubed. If we're going to check, we have 4 times 3, that is 12. That is 12x cubed for the first term. So, by multiplying this one, at the uh, distributive property is 4x cubed times 3, that is 12x cubed. Then we have minus 4 x cubed times 4x cubed. 4 times 4 is 16, and x cubed times x cubed, that is 6. So, that is 16x raised to 6. Therefore, our factors are correct. So, our factor form is correct. So, that's all for this video in factoring with the common monomial factors. So, for the next video, we're going to discuss about factoring 
a uh, difference of two squares. So thank you for watching. Bye bye.